Right now on WJTL 22 Morning News at 6.30, we're counting down to the Olympic Games, but is Rio ready for the biggest sporting event in the world? We have a live report from Brazil this morning with more. Plus, road work this morning could slow down your commute. We're live with how long part of 204 might be closed today. And end the violence. That's the message that one local group is trying to spread through an event here in Forsyth Park today. I'll have details coming up. WJCL 22 Morning News at 6.30 starts right now. Covering Savannah, Hilton Head, Southeast Georgia, and the Low Country. This is WJCL 22 Morning News. Good morning, everybody. It's 6.30 on Thursday. It's August 4th. I'm Chris Tatum. Nicole has the morning off. We're going to get to all those nude news headline headlines and news headlines. Let's be there real clear what I meant to say <laughs> in just a moment, including that live report from Brazil. But right now, let's talk about the weather and the potential for some rain, you said? Yeah, absolutely. Yesterday, it was kind of scattered about with some mm -hmm. heavy downpours, officially in Savannah, inch and a half. And then the low country even had close to an inch of rain right. since midnight in some spots. And it's looking like more widespread coverage of rain later today and it'll be heavy some areas, maybe one to two inches of those heavier downpours. And yesterday I had some reports that some localized flooding in parts of Chatham County with those downpours and we may see that repeat again this afternoon. At least everyone is nice and dry as we start the morning. No rain coming down, so no need for an umbrella at the bus stop this morning, but you'll probably will need it a little later today. Seven o'clock, a mix of sunshine and cloud 76 for that ride home at three o'clock. It'll be another hot one with storms will be likely in heavy rain. Temperature near 92 degrees and uh, I hope everyone has a very good day at school. Also for Effingham and Wayne County. Today is your first day of school. Hope the teachers and also the students have a very good school year. Let's go city by city. Sure, we'll top things off for highs today. Most spots about 92 to 94 degrees and some of the storms today will be strong with some heavy downpours. I'll talk more about that and show you that in future casts in less than 10 minutes. Jonathan, thank you. Start your morning with WJCL 22 News and your weather headlines. You can always track your full forecast here on air and on our app. And Jonathan has live weather updates for you every 10 minutes on the twos. You'll see him again at 642 for your next update. A well, new this morning at 5, uh, 632, a vicious knife attack in London leaves one woman dead, five others hurt, and officials say one of those appears to be an American. A 19-year-old man in police custody at a hospital right now. Police there say mental illness probably will play a major factor in this investigation, but they have not ruled out terrorism. Today, people in London can expect increased police presence on the streets. Now, this incident comes just hours after police there announced London would increase its presence of armed police after recent terror attacks in Europe. We have a traffic alert to tell you about this morning in Savannah. You're looking right now live at Highway 204. The King George, uh, or pardon me, the Do Georgia DOT closing an eastbound lane of that road today. Crews placing concrete panels for a sound wall. 204 will be closed between Pine Grove Road and King George Boulevard. Now that's from 9 a.m. until 8 p.m. today and tomorrow. And crews are also doing other road work in the area today in Chatham County. They're putting on new road stripes and raising pavement markers. Today they're focusing on State Route 26 between mile markers 27 and 32. That starts at 9 o'clock this morning and ends at 8 this evening. Crews are also doing that kind of work in Bryan County, working on State Route 30 between mile markers 0 and 21. The times are the same. Well, that means today in Savannah, end the violence. That's the message one local group is hoping to spread through an event at Forsyth Park. And that is where we find WJCL's Ashley Liotis this morning to tell us more about Summerfest. Hey, Ashley. Chris, good morning. This event is all about unity and bringing different groups in the community together right here in Forsyth Park. Now, Savannah Feed the Hungry is pairing up with Well Care Health Plans in the city of Savannah. Their message, as you said, and the violence. Now that event is all happening right here in Forsyth Park today. It will start at four o'clock this afternoon and run until about eight o'clock this evening. Now there will be live entertainment from local churches, food from the Chatham County Sheriff's Office and a back to school supplies for the kids. We're told there will also be free health screenings, free produce for you to pick up, even job opportunities. Now Savannah Feed the Hungry CEO says it's time for our community to come together. This event is about bringing all organizations, churches, and individuals together to stop the violence. Now, event organizers of this 8th annual Summerfest says this will happen rain or shine, so be sure to come out regardless if it is sprinkling a little bit. Again, from
from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock this afternoon right here on Forsyth Park. Live in Savannah this morning, Ashley Laotis, the BJCL 22 News. Ashley, thank you. Well, happening today in the Low Country, the first ever arts and coffee event on Hilton Head, and the public's invited to be part of it. You'll hear updates on the latest news on the island and get to share your ideas about art, culture, and even about the history of Hilton Head. Several town representatives plan to be there as well. It's from 8.30 to 9.30 this morning. It's happening at Java Burrito Company on William Hilton Parkway. And in Savannah today, the city is holding its final hearing on a millage rate. Alderman tentatively adopted one which requires an increase in property taxes. So the public now is invited to share its concerns over the possible increase. That hearing happens at 2 o'clock this afternoon at Savannah City Hall. Well, thousands of students in our area heading back to school this morning. Schools go back in session in both Effingham and Wayne counties. And more students head back tomorrow. Friday is the first day for Tattanall County. And Monday, McIntosh and Bryan County students head back to school. Well, the school year is going fairly smoothly for Savannah Chatham schools so far. Students returned yesterday, and school leaders say bus operations are off to a pretty good start. Now, some buses were late, and some even had to be rerouted. The bus call center took several calls, but they say some of those problems could have been avoided. We had students registering today for school, and uh, you have students who perhaps their address changed over the summer and they hadn't notified the district, and so you find out today, and that obviously then changes maybe how many students are at this stop or that stop. Well, leaders say they'll make adjustments over the next few weeks, and any changes should be posted to the district website by Tuesday night. 636, low country students head back to class August 15th and tax free weekend is approaching just in time. It starts tomorrow in South Carolina. Now many items exempt from the state's 6% sales tax. That includes clothing, computers, bedding, and of course school supplies. This is our second busiest shopping weekend of the year. Um, we prepare well in advance along with our retailers. You'll notice that almost all of the retailers will have special sales going on in addition to the tax free. So it's a, you know, kind of too, twofold for them. Well, Hilton Head's Tanger Outlets is extending hours this weekend for tax free weekend. Tomorrow and Saturday, those stores will be open until 10 p.m. Right now, 637, everyone's talking about Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, but the Libertarian nominees want their voices heard too. More on that in Commitment 2016, but first. Is Rio ready? It's kind of like the unofficial slogan of the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. What visitors and athletes are saying the day before the game starts.